if you're sending loads of emails to loads of different venues and you're not getting anything back, hopefully this video will tell you how to do it. Hi everyone, today I'm going to talk to you about contacting us specifically about a gig. Now over the past four and a half years our music nights Comfy and Acoustic, which you hold on the first and third Friday, have become huge. We've had people like Catherine Williams, Tom McRae, Mark Morris, Emily Barker, plus hundreds of others. Now because of that we do get a lot of emails, people asking for gigs. So this is to show you how to contact us. And when I say us, I mean me, because all the emails come to me direct. There are seven steps. Uh, so let's delve straight in at number one. Number one, before you even consider writing that email, is the venue right for you? Research it. We still get emails pretty much weekly from rock bands, metal bands, rap. We don't do that. We do singer-songwriter, acoustic, folk, a little bit of country sometimes. It's quite clear from our social media what we do. So all it takes is a click on the website to see a little bit of research. It takes 30 seconds. Number two, who do you send it to? Now I like an email to be sent direct to me. That's Michael. Hello. How do you know that? How do you know who to send it to? Well, on our website, bigcomfybookshop.co.uk, it's really easy. It says, contact Michael. On all my socials, it says, Michael runs this. Michael runs the Twitter. Michael runs the Instagram. It's me. It's my shop. Other places might be a little bit difficult to find, but it just takes five or ten minutes. Maybe if there's an actor that you know that's played there before, contact them. See if they've got any contacts. Number three. I like people to see what we're doing here. And I like people to be invested in what we do here so that we can help them. And social media is a great way to do that. So please come along and follow us on social. Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, um, Facebook. If you come along and follow us, chances are I'll click on you and see if you're a musician. If you are a musician, sometimes I'll click on your music anyway, even if I haven't received an email from you. So I don't just want you to come along, do the gig, go, and then that's it. I want a relationship to start. A lot of the musicians that play here are now my friends on Facebook. Some people have played here four or five times, all, and it all started with a great email. All right, number four, and this is the crux of it. Write the email. Yeah, right, so you know who to send it to? Me. Where it's going? The Big Comfy Bookshop. And you followed me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all that stuff, so you get in there. Don't just launch in with, Hi, Michael, blah, 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 I want a gig, I want a gig. What you want need to do is, just be nice. Say, hey, how are you doing? Hope you having a good day. Um, I saw on Instagram that your, uh, your daughter's poorly. Hope she's well now, etc. Just, you know, get to know me because you know, I'm going to get to know you. Once you've got, got through all that niceties, that's when you launch into it. Now, one thing that I don't want to see is the fact that you were bought a guitar at three and then by five you could play Beeswing and then by seven you were, you know, going around the old people's home, homes. It's boring. You know, maybe, maybe when you have your hour-long HBO special about your life, you can say that. In an email, short and snappy, why are you contacting me? Do you have an album out or an EP out? Um, are you doing a big tour to promote something in the future? Is it your first time playing outside your little town and you just want to get out there and gig? I just want to know. Tell me. In a very small space, because I get a lot of emails. Once you've said hello and introduced yourself, said how nice my hair looks. It's terrible. And then tell me why you are touring around. What I want there is to hear your music. So, number five, I need to hear you live. I cannot book any musicians here who I've not heard before. So ideally, I need two live YouTube videos. They don't have to be great quality. They can just be filmed on a camera phone at a gig or even on your bed in your bedroom if you've never done a gig before. Stick a camera there like I'm doing here and just press record upload it and then you have a video. I'm not too keen on the uh, official videos where you have the big production and all that because it doesn't, a lot of the time doesn't feel like you and it doesn't sound like you. If you haven't got anything live but you have got something recorded then by all means send it over, Spotify links, Bandcamp links. I don't use iTunes, a lot of people don't use iTunes so you know, don't go there. Also if you have snippets of songs, 30 second snippets is pointless. Just don't do it. Put the whole song out there. The email starts with the niceties delves into why you're contacting me and who you are. It's got the links in there, some great links. I love CDs. Pop a CD in the post, because uh, a lot of the time, 
you'll see a, a lot of the a lot of CDs get played in the bookshop. And tip number six: be professional. So you've written this great email and you've spelt several words wrong. You've put a full stop in the wrong place. The link doesn't work properly. Go through it, change it, check it. Just make sure that it's professional. I don't care if you've toured Europe ten times and you are a huge band. I mean, I'll book you then, obviously. But <laughs> if you've only just got out of your bedroom and you've only done three gigs, if the email reads well, I'm going to delve into that email right there and then and not stick it in my to-do pile. So make sure it's professional. So I've got all that I need right then. So now we, all you have to do is... Number seven, be patient. I receive so many emails, it's unbelievable. Um, I do go through every single one of them, but it takes time. Because not just, as well as just comfy and acoustic, I run everything here, from the books, to the poetry, to all the events that go on, from the social side, to the marketing, all the back end. It's a lot to do. I, don't, I can't just sit there and listen to music all day. It would be great, but I can't, unfortunately. So please be patient. I can't respond to every single email. I only really respond to those who are successful now due to the time constraints. If you haven't heard from me in about four weeks, by all means, send a follow-up. Just say, hey, Michael, I contacted you about a month ago. Um, have you had a chance to check it out? Um, don't fill a load more links and stuff in that because I will just go back to the, through to the email and find it. The main thing for you getting a gig here though, is do I like it? I'm the person who owns the shop, I'm the one that has the gigs here and the music. I wanna, I wanna enjoy myself, and if I enjoy the music, chances are that you're gonna get here at some point. I do book up quite a lot in advance, nine to 12 months in advance. So if I don't offer you a gig in the next couple of months, I might offer you one in, in 12 months or so. If you have any more tips for, the, uh, for contacting gigs, put them down below in the comments, and uh, please give this video a, uh, a big like, and click on the little subscribe button too, why not? Thanks very much.